Member. Speaker, along the same lines of the first question, I had an email from a rugby enthusiast. Uh, since moving to Vancouver as a British immigrant, it's been a constant struggle with the Liquor Board for them to allow us to enjoy the same cultural experiences we do back home. Uh, the province asked for my taxes, charged a premium for housing and services, and when I asked to be able to drink a beer at 7 a.m. to watch my national sport, as a 34-year-old man with no criminal convictions, I'm told I can't be trusted this February and March. The Six Nations Rugby Tournament took place as it did every year. The AGLC in Alberta allowed a 7.30 a.m. service time. All other provinces have good time zone situations. Once again, early drinking requests were denied to BC. Uh, this year, the Canadian team takes on Ireland in their first game. That kickoff time is before 9 a.m., so no drinking. Several of the games are before 9 a.m., so once again, our culture, which is the same as yours, our national sport, a pint, some cheering, and some good sportsmanship is once again restricted. I'm sick of hearing the laws are changing, the laws are changing, they don't seem to be. Uh, I've asked for logical reasons why drinking cannot be allowed at 7 a.m. with the correct process in place for these special events. I've not been given one decent answer as to why logically and ethically this cannot uh, take place. Uh, my question to the Minister is uh, quite straightforward. Under this Act, uh, would it be possible for the Liquor Board to authorize for special cultural events uh, licenses that would permit serving on the time zone of the place where the event is taking place? In particular, uh, the upcoming uh, Rugby Sevens tournament is a great example, but also football, uh, as we know at soccer, is a great example of that as well. Minister. Thank you, Chair. Chair, the authority is in the regulations to set the hours that, of operation for liquor establishments, and currently the regulation um, is 9 a.m. 9 a.m. till 4 a.m. Uh, the general manager also has the authority to make restrictions on that. During some special events, we have allowed the premises to open earlier, but not to sell liquor earlier. Um, it is the case that the regulations that the regulation making authority um, is broad, that broad enough that those regulations could change possibly to contemplate the kind of situation that the member is raising. Member. To be clear then, uh, then uh, Honourable Chair, this is uh, uh, currently contained in the current regulations that will be imported into this Act and there wouldn't be an amendment to this Act to per permit this kind of, uh, of cultural activity to, to take place outside of those hours. Uh, I guess what I'm asking is, would the minister be amenable to an amendment to this act to permit uh, that kind of activity to take place? And, and the, the email writer notes, and I, I think it's a great point, that BC is spending a lot of tax money on the Rugby Sevens tournament to take place at BC Place next March. Clearly, uh, we're supporting the idea of uh, rugby in British Columbia. Um, and uh, he asked, does the province support rugby or not? I'd, I'd say, say the same thing would go for soccer or football. Um, is there something we can do here to, to include it in the act uh, clearly, we're both in favor of modernization and reasonable uh, accommodation, and uh, this seems eminently reasonable to me. Minister. Thank you, Chair. Chair, there, there is no need to amend the Act because the regulation-making authority does provide the authority that the member is seeking. Member. Chair, so then uh, uh, rugby fans should direct their correspondence. I take it to the minister to amend that uh, regulation to allow them to enjoy their uh, national sport uh, uh, at 7 in the morning, perhaps with a pint. <laughs>